the rules of conduct we learned in childhood make it difficult to recognize someone else's influence. But it is more difficult for manipulators to influence our emotions and control our actions when we take responsibility for our own behavior and allow ourselves to be free from the opinions of others. The Bright Side of Life reveals five popular tricks of manipulators and how not to fall into the trap. 1. Bad Person Bad Argument The manipulation bad person bad argument comes down to discrediting a person in any way and to show that everything they talk about, arguments, ideas, thoughts, suggestions, has no right to exist by blackening their character. Discredit can hit anything. A person can be called ignorant, and inexperienced, and incompetent, and unsympathetic, in general, anything can be found in the arsenal of a manipulator. Of course it offends, humiliates, infuriates, and acts on an emotional level. It's a kind of attack on the personality, but not on their words. First dress like a human, and then go with your stupid ideas. And this is what a person with a criminal record is telling us? Why are you listening to him? He even managed to make a mistake in the word agreement. First learn to do your hair, and then teach us all here. First arrive on time for meetings, and then try to take the floor. These are all examples of bad person bad argument manipulation. It seems that this is a really understandable name, in order to discredit an argument or opinion of a person, you can discredit their personality. Often the victim tries to hit back with an uppercut. But isn't this a beneficial scenario for the manipulator? After all, their main task is to get away from a constructive reaction to the words of the victim. How to protect yourself from such manipulation? First of all, no retaliatory attacks or mutual insults, because otherwise you would follow the scenario of the manipulator. The main tactic is to ignore the vilification. You should be above this, because you know the true motives of your opponent, why giving in? Especially when you know the manipulation scenario itself and understand the final goals of the aggressor, it is much easier to maintain composure. And now the main thing, you should transfer the situation from a pressing emotional phase to a cold rational one. Let's think whether there is a logical connection between what I say and what my opponent accuses me of. Well for instance I don't know how to work in Excel, but does this mean that my business plan is incorrect? In counteracting the manipulation bad person bad argument, only a transition to a logical channel, an analysis of the cause and effect relationship and knowledge of the laws of argumentation can help. 2. Inconsistency of words with actions. The thing is that among the people there is a wonderful saying whose cow are you milking, which describes the essence of this manipulation. As in the previous type of manipulation, here the discussion of the topic is essentially replaced by the discussion of the opponent. In this instance the manipulator shows the inconsistency of the interlocutor's arguments with their own behavior, manifestations of character, life principles, and position. Imagine you are talking about motorcycles, and your counterpart asks, how can you talk if you have not ridden a single bike? Inconsistency of words with actions is a varied manipulation. What are you teaching me if you constantly did this in your youth? First learn to speak English without a mistake, and then make comment on how I should put stress. Imagine a father teaches his son, smoking is harmful, this is very bad for your health. According to the laws of logic and constructive dialogue, the opponent is obliged to give a counterargument to defend their position. But it's not that easy, right? Even children and adolescents without rich communicational experience understand that it is easier to turn your blow against the interlocutor thereby devaluing the importance of their words. Therefore, it is not surprising that the son, in response to his father's words, reacts like this, what are you teaching me when you smoke yourself? How to protect yourself in such instance? There is a reasonable feeling that there is no constructive response against such manipulation. After all everything is logical, words don't meet actions. Nevertheless, this is not a counterargument, not a discussion of the problem but a blow to the personality. Let's go back to the father-son situation. What answer options exist to neutralize this unconscious manipulation? Would it be right for the father to acknowledge the discrepancy? No, that would mean recognizing someone else's victory. But will it be right if the father starts to play along with his son? Unfortunately, this strategy is also wrong, because he will only discredit himself even more, losing father's authority. 
Or maybe it would be right to say, grow up first, then show your smart ass, or one more word, and I will put you under house arrest for a week. Never answer like this. Indeed in response to manipulation, the father resorts to aggression, fixing an absolutely incorrect communication model in his son's mind. So what to do? The main strategy, do not succumb to the scenario line, but break it. The opponent discredits us by demonstrating that our words are at odds with our actions. So in order to break the scenario, we have to transfer minus into plus. It's called logical reframing. And in most instances, for a competent and conflict-free answer, the template phrase, just because, will help, and will immediately turn our supposedly weak side into a strong one, instantly increasing authority in the issue of discussion. See how this can be effectively done. What are you teaching me if you smoke yourself? Just because I smoke myself that I'm telling you this. Not a stranger from a neighborhood, not someone else, but me. I know what it can lead to. Notice how the background and tone of the conversation has changed. Instead of self-flagellation through logical reframing, or the just because template, an expert position appears and the words take on a completely different meaning. 3. Ignorance. The manipulator always plays on our emotional strings, this is what we call the target of manipulation. And very often this string is the fear of appearing ignorant, inexperienced or incompetent. Often we are really afraid to admit that we do not know or do not understand something, we are embarrassed to show our ignorance. This is the basis of the manipulation. Here are some of the most common examples of such manipulation. Everyone knows that fact. A well-known postulate of economic theory confirms my opinion. You must have read this book for sure, it's a business classic, all educated people have read it, it says the same thing. You should accept my point of view. You probably understood that very often highly educated people use such manipulation. Difficult terms, incomprehensible abbreviations, scientific expressions, facts that are difficult to verify here and now, this is what they use when they play on ignorance and a sense of false shame. The manipulator additionally makes the victim believe in their superiority. At the same time, the manipulator often uses such a tone and intonation, as if talking about the most elementary things. There are times when the manipulator simply sprinkles memorized smart words, without fully understanding their meaning. The main thing is to sound smart, and the victim would be ashamed to show their ignorance. Sometimes manipulators use amplifying phrases, everyone knows, it is a well-known fact, it's absolutely obvious, and others. All these are manifestations of the ignorance manipulation. How to oppose? What is the manipulator waiting for? They want to show false shame, shame to ask and clarify. The only way to break this manipulation is to simply admit your ignorance, ask and clarify. Without self-flagellation, embarrassment, absolutely calmly and with dignity. And then you will see that the manipulator themselves have a rather vague idea of what they referred to. Watching the manipulator get confused in their own testimony is always funny, because they fall into their own trap. 4. Buttering up. Abraham Lincoln once said, a drop of honey catches more flies than a gallon of gall. It is on this effect that the next common and effective manipulation called buttering up is based. The main target of this manipulation is an appeal to our vanity, the purpose of which is to cloud our mind, to flatter our self-love with the help of properly selected compliments. The erudition of my interlocutor is beyond doubt, therefore I am sure that they will not argue with me. A person who is not subtle and deep enough, of course will not understand, but you will definitely do. You, as one of the best specialists in our company, must do that. I rely on your prudence and sharpness of mind and I am sure that you will agree with me. What unites all these examples? Manipulation script. Please note that in each of the above remarks there is the same mechanism of influence, a compliment plus a command. There is always a compliment, which like music, is pleasant to hear, smart, educated, thin, erudite, honest, decent. But note that always follows the command, agree, accept, do, you will not argue and so on. It turns out an interesting logical connection, if I do not execute the command, then I am not smart, not educated, not intelligent. 
and despite its imaginary simplicity, in most cases it works flawlessly. The stronger the self-esteem and vanity of the victim, the more effective this manipulation is. How to oppose it? The neutralization of this manipulation is as simple as the scenario line. The formula is as follows, acceptance of the compliment and rejection of the command. For example, I rely on your prudence and sharpness of mind and I am sure that you will agree with me. Thank you for the high rating, but I have to disagree. Pay attention to the fact that you should definitely accept a compliment, otherwise a logical trap that is not beneficial for you will slam shut. Of course you should not see a manipulative element in every compliment, otherwise you can reach a paranoid state. But when you see that somebody tries flattering to force you to do what they want, it is worth breaking off this manipulation instantly. 5. Unbalancing Unfortunately, often the manipulator resorts to the emotional annoyance of their opponent in order to achieve their goal. They use familiar address to the interlocutor, caustic jokes and remarks, impudent ridicule, boorish humor, sarcasm, and absurd questions. This trick is rude and impermissible, nevertheless widespread and effective. The main task of the manipulator is to do everything possible to unsettle the opponent take you out of your comfort zone, and cause a persistent state of stress. In an emotional state the victim would probably rashly do something ill-conceived, spontaneous, and unbeneficial for themselves, which meant that the manipulation had worked. The manipulator can constantly distort the name or position of their opponent, the familiar Smith instead of the respectful Mr. Smith, manager instead of general director, and others. The manipulator can play on the flaws of his victim, mimic bad diction, slips of the tongue, speech errors, stuttering, or insert phrases that provoke a conflict, are you sure you are an expert on this issue, or, do you talk to your wife like that, or, gosh, what else do you want, or, yeah, call me, and everything like that. The aggressor can also resort to dismissive gestures, or annoying actions, like constantly clicking the pen, or ignoring your remarks. The ways of irritation and emotional destabilization are endless. The key of this manipulation is the repetition of the irritating action. Practice shows that the triple repetition of the manipulative element achieves its goal, the opponent gets annoyed and loses the temper. How to oppose them? It is important to understand that any actions within the unbalancing are always a provocation, always a premeditated scenario. Under no circumstances should you succumb to such a provocation. You can't take it to heart, because it's just a game on the part of the manipulator. You should recognize it and rise above them. After all, if they manage to turn you up, if they manage to knock the ground out from under your feet, you lost. Calmness and composure, this is the main recipe for counteraction. Therefore, you can simply ignore any attempts to break your emotional harmony. Or you can say it straight out, I understand what you are trying to do now, you want to throw me off balance. Unfortunately it won't work, so let's conduct a dialogue in a constructive and respectful way. This way you reveal the manipulation and translate its hidden nature into an open one. Drop a comment if you have ever been subject to someone's manipulation. What tricks did you use to oppose them? Like this video, and share, you never know who can benefit from this information. Subscribe our channel and see you next time.